Hello everyone, this is Sunil Sharma over here from Speed Math. Welcome back to my channel and in today's lecture, we are going to discuss a very very interesting question which is there up on the screen. We need to find the number of real solution of 2 raised to sin square x plus 5 into 2 raised to cos square x equal to 7 and there are 4 options and we need to figure it out which one is the correct one. So starting with, let's write down the equation very quickly. Now first of all, whenever you have question in sin and cos, Either you convert everything into sine or you convert everything into cos. We know this identity is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Am I right? So what I am going to do is I am going to convert this cos square x into sine square x. And how do I do that? From here, if I take sine square x on the other side, what we get is cos square x equals to 1 minus sine square x. So this here is the value of cos square x which we will substitute here, okay. So let me very quickly write down 2 raised to sin square x plus 5 times 2 raised to 1 minus sin square x equals to 7, right. Now observe this part, this here we are going to use law of indices. Which property we are going to use? It's a very simple property. A raised to m minus n can be written as a raised to m upon a raised to n. That is minus n when, when we take it in the denominator, we get a raised to m. Okay. So we are going to do that to this 1 minus sin square x. So 2 raised to sin square x will remain as it is plus 5 times. I can write this as 2 raised to 1 upon 2 raised to sine square x using this property indices okay now we can see here that this 2 raised to sine square x and 2 raised to sine square we can go for simple substitution and we can convert this horrendous looking equation into a very simple equation so let us substitute let us substitute 2 raised to sine square x equals to t so what happens this yellow thing will get converted into t and this phi into 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 1 is 2 and phi 2 is 10. So I'll straight away write 10 and here you get t equals to 7. So my dear students, now I don't want this t in the denominator. I don't want this t in the denominator. So what I need to do is I am going to multiply throughout by t. So what do we get? t into t will give us t square. When I multiply t to the second term, denominator t will get cancelled and you get 10 and then you get 70. Right? Quickly we can write this into a standard form t square minus 70 plus 10 equal to 0. Here we get a quadratic equation, right? And the factors are you know minus 5, minus 2. So I'll quickly just write this as t minus 5 t minus 2 equal to 0 i hope you know how to solve this quadratic equation i have skipped that part okay i have directly written the factors over here and then we can conclude that t equals to 5 or t equals to 2 right now let us resubstitute our value let me take another color our value for t was what this thing right let us resubstitute value of t so it was 2 raised to sine square x equals to 5 or 2 raised to sine square x equals to 2. What you need to observe here is since LH is equal to RHS, now if you see LHS we have 2 raised to something but here RH, RHS is 5. Well, 2 cannot be converted into 5 whatever power it may take, right? So immediately we can discard this one. And if you see the next one, both places, you know, you have same base, right? And I can say here the power is 1. So if you, if you equate this, if you equate this, since the base is same on both the sides, you can come to a conclusion, therefore the power has to be same. Therefore sine square x equals to 1, okay? I can simply correlate this and come to conclusion that sine square x has to be equal to 1. Therefore, sin x will be 1, right? Now, we need to find out for what values of x sin will take value 1. To understand for what values of x sin will give value 1, 
let me take this uh, beautiful application web application GeoGebra right so uh, let me start the calculator here it's a very very useful you can try it sin x I need to find value of sin x now you can see here okay you can see here there are many values right you can see at this juncture it is 1 here it is 1 here it is 1 there are many values this point it is 1 this point it is 1 this point it is 1 so sine takes value 1 for many values of x in fact there are infinite values of x for which sine function will take value 1 right so what is the correct option then our correct option is infinitely many right so guys i hope you enjoyed learning this question this question has been asked in jay if you want more such videos please leave your feedback in the comment section till then happy learning peace